Alright, well, it's been a while, but Bills lose by a score of nobody fucking cares to I don't even know because the game's not even over yet. I think. I don't know. I turned it off because it was 35 to 10. I just want to record this video and talk to you guys about the game in a one taker because that's what we do after a loss. It, you know, it's frustrating. You know, I haven't missed a Bills game in years. Okay. Like many of you, I assume. There's only one game in the last little while that I have turned it off or left, all right? And that was the Bengals playoff game. Terrible weather, brutal game. And the point I'm trying to make is this is one of the worst fucking performances I have ever seen from this team. Like, yeah, you played Arizona in week one. They, it's week one. It's a crapshoot. Nobody knows what's going to happen, right? I don't even know if I'm sitting around the camera right now. It's been, been a while since I've made a video, so excuse me. But, week two, you know, they played the Dolphins. Tua sucks. He got injured. Dolphins are frauds. We own them. Who cares? Josh Allen's their daddy. It don't matter. Week three, we blow out the Jaguars, but... They're one of the worst fucking teams in the league. And then you play a desperate one and two Ravens team in Baltimore, Sunday night football, and that's what you do? Like, what was that trick play? Excuse my voice crack. What was that trick play? Curtis Samuel in the Wildcat. Allen split out wide. Allen just chucks air. It's a brutal game to watch. I'm just trying to recall all this BS and I can't because I don't want to. I just want to move on to next week. Like, let's look, okay. Let's get the anger out of the way. Let's be real here. The Bills are three and one unless they magically scored four touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I don't even know. I don't want to know. I'll know when I make the thumbnail for this video. I'm turning this back on because I want to mention this. Uh, at what point are we having the Tyler Bass conversation? Because, you know, we all know the shank field going to playoffs that, you know, I wouldn't say lost us the game because the Chiefs would have drove down and kicked their own field goal because they're just better than us. But at what point does this guy get cut? Now, I'm not saying, like, they should right now this week. You know, let him fly back on the plane. You know, when he gets back to Buffalo, tell him he's off the team. I'm kidding. But, you can't even really cut him with that contract, can you? Because he's uh, getting paid a lot of money. And for a kicker. And just cutting that kind of kicker money in a time where the Bills don't have a lot of money. Not a good idea. So, what do they do? His team loves him. It's very odd. Like, the Bills team loves this guy. The way they speak about him, it's a dog. But where did the dog go? Because he can't make a fucking field goal anymore. Anyways, back to whatever else I was saying. Yeah. But, like I said, they're three and one, all right? That's fine. You still have 13 more games and a bye week to get it right. They'll be fine. Like, let's not overthink this too much let's not stress the bills will be fine they're still a good team they just they shit their pants for the first time in like two and a half years like they had this little ridiculous streak i think it was 42 games or something like that without getting blown out maybe it was 45 with the three this year but that's just that's that's mind-blowing and I don't want this game to get lost in the success they've had so far. You know, they're going to be fine. Like I said, Buffalo's still a good team. Baltimore Ravens fans, I know you're watching. Um, I don't hate you guys. Let's not have beef in the comments, please. You know, I've, I usually get some mean comments from opposing fans, mainly the ones in the division, you know. A little more than just banter. But you guys are 2-2. Two and two. You're probably going to win your division. I think the Steelers stink. Justin Fields and Russell Wilson aren't that great. Bengals are 1-3. and three. 
Who's the other team? The Browns, they got Deshaun Watson, like the worst trade in NFL history. They, he sucks. He's too busy getting massage. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, 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 the Bills will be fine. The Ravens will be fine. Two great teams. Will they meet again in the playoffs? Who knows? You know, honestly, I thought I would have more to rant about and say, but like, it's week four. The Bills are three and one. Not that big of a deal. Sorry, like I usually come on here after these losses and I'm all mad and I'm just like rah, 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 rah. I'm just not today. It's also 11 o'clock and I wanna to go to bed. But, you know, it's all right. Keon Coleman had some nice grabs. That's promising. Is he gonna break out into wide receiver one? I don't know. Cliff Shakir is kinda of like, Got that role. I wouldn't say role, I'd say like the, the title, you know? It's a wide receiver room by committee. <sighs> well, I don't even know who they play in week five. I'm laying a huge brain fart right now, so thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna have the live reaction to this game coming out tomorrow. New videos every week now. We're getting back into the groove. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.